typically use to get these, right? Think about it now. So let's look at this. The common difference is what? Four, isn't it? Yeah. As you go down, if you subtract this, this 10 from the next number, you get four. Subtract 14 from 18, you get four, right? So the common difference is four. So what, what we usually do, we usually just simply do this. Right, we put four, the same four, that's the common difference here, and multiply it by n, all right? And then we're gonna decide, should we add on a number or subtract a number from it, all right? Let's look at this now. What's the figure number here? The figure number here is, for instance, is what? One? Figure number is one, right? So we're saying four times the n, n in this case, again, n in this case is one. So we replace n with one. Four times one is what? Four. But when we put four times one, we don't get 10. We get what? Four. So how much more do we need to add in order to get 10? So we have to add a one to that formula. So 4n doesn't work. When we try 4 times n, again, let me go to this again for Shanti. Shanti, the common difference is 4, right, Shanti? When I multiply that 4 by n, would I get this number here? When I multiply 4 by n, in this case, n is 1. 4 times 1 is 4. We need how much more to get 10? 6. So 4 times n plus 6 will give us that 10. Now we get 10. Let's try it again. Let's try it with the other one. All right? Four times, let's try two. When n, when n is actually, when n is actually two. Let's try four times n or four times two. Four twos give me eight. But in this case, we have what? Fourteen. Eight plus what will give me fourteen? How much more do I need? Four plus, four times two is eight. How much do I need to get eight? Fourteen. The same six I have here, isn't it? So the formula is really this. Four n plus six. All right? So here, the formula should be here is 4n plus 6. That's that. And we can test it out. Let's try to see. 4 times, what's n in this case here? Four, n is what in this case? So f let's try the formula. 4 times 3 is what? 4 threes plus the 6 plus 18. All right? So it does work. Let's do the same thing. Let's do the same thing for, for, for this one over here. All right, we want the nth term. What's the common difference in this case over here? What's the common difference? So it's going to be what? Six times n, isn't it? Six times n. But we need to start and see if it's actually going to give us these numbers. In this case, n are the figure number. Figure number in this case, which is n, is one. So six times one. Does six times one give us, um, give us 10? So we have to add how much? Four. So six, which is a common difference, again, six is a common difference. We multiply it by the figure number, which is n. So six times n, common difference times n. Always do that. Get it with six n. Then test it and see. Six times where n is one, six times one is six. We need four more, so put plus four here. Let's try and see if it actually works. Six times two is what? Twelve. Plus 4, 16. Let's write it out of 1. 6 times 3 is what? 18 plus 4, 22. So it actually works. So this, the formula here for the nth term is 6n plus 4. All right? So now let's look at this, guys. What they're saying here is, look, look, let me show you this. This is what I wanted to show you guys before. If I equate the formula that produced these, if I equate the formula to any one of these, I'll get actually a figure number. You understand? Let's see. If I equate this, the formula, because what it's saying is that when I, when I work out 6n plus 4, I get these. So in other words, if I say 6n plus 4 equals 10, for instance, 6n plus 4, these are all 6n plus 4, you know. These are all 6n plus 4. So when I equate 6n plus 4 to 10, I should get 1 for n. Let's see. 6n plus 4 equals 10. So we have 6n, transpose the 6 over, we're going to equal to 10 minus 4. 6n equals 6, and dividing both sides by 6, I end up with what? n equals 1. Understand?
So just like this one here, let's look at this one here. When, six, when 6n plus 4 is 130, what do we get? When 6n plus 4 equals 130. 6n plus 4 equals 130. What do we get? Let's subtract 6n equals 130 minus 4. Will be what? 6n equals what? 120. And dividing by 6, what do we get? 21. So n equals 21. Everybody get that? So in other words, the nth term here should be what, guys? 21. Got it? Follow? So now I can, I can use this 21 and find what this number is now, isn't it? Come remember now, it's 21 figure for both of these. So I can use this one to find this one. So in this case, n is what? What's, what's n in this case? n is what in this case? 21, isn't it? n is 21. This, these are the n values. So this n is 21 here. So when n is 21, I can replace that. 21, where n is. 4 and 21 give us what? 84 plus 6. 4, 2 is 8, 4, 1 is 4, yeah. And 84 plus 6 is what? 90. Got it? Anisha? Sure? Anisha didn't get it in. Yeah, so I'll use it.